Hello everybody again, it's Chef Danchek. Well, tonight for dinner we're making pork stir-fry. What I did was take a pack of uh, nice center-cut pork chops and I deboned them and sliced them up in nice little cubes. I made up a marinade uh, yesterday with a lot of goodies out of the fridge and a little bit of lemon juice for the acid and I let them marinate overnight and now we're just going to fry them off and get them ready to go and we're going to continue on with our stir fry so hang on coming right up i tell you too bad you didn't have smell of vision it sure smells good all right next thing i added to my pan was a bit of canola oil and i put in a bunch of iced bean sprouts and to that i've added a little bit of sesame oil not too much it's very strong in flavor and i've added in some minced garlic and fresh ginger so we're gonna let this fry a bit and then we're gonna add it to our meat mixture and we'll carry on with the next step and do up some vegetables then we'll mix them all together okay we've given these a fry for about five minutes we seasoned them up with a little bit of fresh ground coarse pepper and a little bit of uh, fresh ground coarse salt as well so we're gonna add this over here to our meat mixture and then we'll carry on with doing some veggies here's the next part i have a mixture of no peas chinese big carrots a little bit of purple onion and uh, i did blanch the carrot for a few minutes before i uh, put them in the bag to be mixed with everything else and i uh, kind of keep it as simple here so we got the peas Get the carrots, I've added a little bit of more minced garlic, minced ginger, and I've also added to it a bit of sesame oil and some Pokemon stir fry mix. So we're going to fry this all up and we're going to add this to our mixture as well. And yes, there also is some red and green Julian bell peppers in my book. Oh, geez, it smells so good. Uh, let it fry up here for a bit. We'll add it to the mixture and then beat her all up, make some rice, and have some dinner. Alrighty, so we cooked up the uh, vegetable mixture here with the kikabon, stir fry sauce, a little salt, a little pepper, ginger, garlic, and uh, tastes pretty good. I didn't cook it all the way through. I still want a little bit of that crispness and bite with the vegetables, so they're not mushy. Then we're going to add it to the uh, meat mixture with the bean sprouts and put them all together and fry them up for a bit more. So hang on, here we're going to do Okay, that's ready to go in the oven. Now we're going to do our rice and tonight I'm going to make, it's a mixture of long grain white and cherry rice. And it's going to be cooked in a mixture of a bit of broth and light cherry water. So we're going to mix that up and when we're all ready to serve, uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll show you what it looks like on the plate. So we're going to take this and we're into the oven. We're going to keep it at about 200, 225 in that range. Keep her nice and hot for supper. When I get her plated, we'll put her on there and we're going to enjoy it. I hope you enjoy this recipe too. Okay, here we go. We got our stir fry on top of our rice and we're ready to have some dinner so that's what it is it's all done the chef down truck from dawson creek british columbia canada enjoy your dinner tonight and have a good one